For Dancing with the Stars, all of the dancers from this season came from a life that was dedicated to the ballroom. I started dancing at the age of six and started competing at the age of seven. My mom and my dad are both professional dancers. My mom was always my role model, so I followed her footsteps. I started dancing when I was ten, so generally it was a little bit late. You know, most people start when they're four or five. Saying you're a dancer wasn't necessarily the most popular thing you could say. Who wants to be dancing in Australia? You want to be outside having fun at the beach. When I was little, I hated dancing. I absolutely hated it. My mom always tried to put me in jazz and ballet, and every time she would put me in, I would cry before every single lesson, every time. I sucked at singing, and I was not a good actor, and I was not very good at plays, because all the pictures that I have from when I was four in plays, I was a mushroom or a tree. I was uh, a lot better dancer than I was an actor, so my parents said, hey, He's talented in this. Let's make him dance for the rest of his life. Thanks, parents. Before Dancing with the Stars, I lived in London, and I trained there with Corky Shirley Ballas in Latin and ballroom dancing. And we would travel all around the world doing competitions, demonstrations. We grew up competing together, performing together, so we go way, way, way back. Mark, myself, and my sister, we were often called the Ballas Brat Pack. At competitions, we'd come in and we'd just sweep it and we'd leave with all the trophies. It hated us. We all come from different backgrounds, but somehow we all landed in the same ballroom when we started competing on the amateur professional level. Competition life is really hectic. You pretty much live out of your suitcase and you go from country to country. If you're not practicing, you're competing. If you're not competing, you're doing shows. Ballroom competitions are glamorous, but they are brutal. People get extremely competitive. They will elbow you, they will push you out of their way, because you have to imagine there's 20 couples on the floor, not one like on Dancing with the Stars. There's everything from cat fights, to nail scratching, to tripping, to punching. I mean, it's like war out there. I think Tony got in a fight on the dance floor and got kicked out one time. Hey, the guy stepped on my partner's foot three times, on purpose. My natural instinct was to grab him and throw him into the audience. What, other people don't do that? For most of us, our competition days are over. But there is a bright future for ballroom because the new generation of dancers is amazing. Tonight, you should expect to see some of the most talented, aggressive, and dedicated kids. You guys look great. I'm excited. I can honestly say that these kids are the future of ballroom dancing. One, two, three, four!